before it came out, I was hoping, like, one of my friends is a huge fan of the series and I wanted to get into it, but I had no idea how. And even asking them, I just didn't see a way for me to get in. Yeah. And I feel like Warhammer 3 it is a really nice intro to the series. Hello and welcome to My Fave Thin, a show we make here at Rock Paper Shotgun, where I chat to an RPS staffer to find out what they love about a brand new game. This week I sat down with the wonderful Hayden Hefford to discuss the tactical fantasy behemoth that is Total War Warhammer 3, available now for purchase on PC as well as via an Xbox Game Pass subscription. Anyway, enough preamble, let's get into it. So Hayden, you've been playing a lot of Total War Warhammer 3. What is your favourite thing about this brand new strategy game? For me, I mean, like, coming into Total War Warhammer 3, I didn't have much of a history playing, like, Total War or even, like, strategy games. Like, they've always been the kind of thing that I'm interested in, but don't know how to get into. And I feel like, especially with, like, Warhammer, because of the way they do their DLCs, do you know how, like, they compile into each game? So, like, Warhammer 1 stuff all goes into Warhammer 2, and eventually all of that will come into Warhammer 3. That's really yeah. scary, because that's a lot of content. That's way too much. <laughs> um, <laughs> but Warhammer 3 doesn't have all that from the start, and it just it on-ramps you really nicely with this prologue that sets up a story, which I, one, like I didn't expect to be, it's quite interesting. I quite like kind of the narrative they set up, mm. but that prologue, it introduces all the mechanics that you need to know for the full campaign in a slightly more linear sense. So like, it's about Kislev, which is one of the factions in Total War Warhammer 3. Yeah, it's a really long name. <laughs> I always want to say Total Warhammer 3. Maybe that's how we're going to, maybe we'll just do that. <laughs> yeah, well, let's do that from now on. <laughs> Total Warhammer 3. But yeah, like the prologue introduces like one of the factions, Kislev, and their quest to find Urson, the bear god. And in that, like you come across all the other factions and it sets up the story for the main campaign that like, you can play through as any faction, but it introduces you to like, you know, basic little battles and then how to manage a settlement, what's a province, right? Like all these kind of things that a Warhammer Pro is, that's going to be really obvious stuff, right? Like yeah. obviously you need to fight and use diplomacy and kind of manage relationships with factions and all that, all that stuff. But like as a complete newbie to the series, the best part about Warhammer 3 is that it perfectly lets new players come in and like considering they're treating this as like the culmination of a decade of work, right? Because like I say, eventually Warhammer 1 and 2 all that content is going to be dragged into three with their yeah. mortal empire update that like brings it all together if you're like a complete newbie that's really daunting but warhammer 3 just perfectly kind of lets you in teach you the ropes like just the basics and then lets you get excited about that with everybody else rather than instantly starting as this behemoth that you can't get into i mean did you find the same like because i know you've been playing it as well and you're in a fairly similar position right 100 well, percent. so i haven't we were just saying this before we started recording i haven't played a total war game since 2006's medieval total war 2 which is such a long time to have not been a part of this series and the way that they've improved the core formula because they have made so many of these games in the in the space in between that's the thing it isn't just warhammer right like it's I, I know recently there's like total war troy right and like yeah. there's a bunch of others like loads of these games and every one has these like little minor improvements and, and even though i've not played the total warhammer games i've done my research and looked into like kind of where they've tried to improve with warhammer 3 yeah and the quality of life updates i couldn't even imagine playing without like i don't know how people went through warhammer 1 and 2 not being able to like quickly flick through idle units because like that's that's a, like a quality of life update for Total Warhammer 3. Like you get the little Z markers on your units that aren't doing anything. And I, I don't know how I'd survive without that. Like how would you find anything if you didn't have <laughs> stuff like that? <laughs> yeah, and I think one thing that I, I think the prologue does so well is it's not even just, it's like here is a full campaign and we're going to show you everything at once. It drip feeds each individual mechanic in a really natural way. So you start off and it's like, oh, your main character is part of the Kislev faction is walking through a storm, just get him from A to B. Okay, now you're going to get into a settlement. Okay, now you're going to get some units. Now you're going to have a fight, which is really basic, and we're going to just gently tell you the very foundational basics of Total War in this, like you mentioned before, really engaging story-like campaign. I don't know, have you ever played Warcraft 3? No. So the, the plot of the prologue is basically the plot of the Arthas campaign in Warcraft 3. It's a 
kin-like figure who gets, eh, spoilers for a prologue, I guess, a little bit corrupted, but it's still a really engaging, lore-rich prologue, and I don't think I've ever actually played a tutorial that is as engaging as a campaign in of itself. It's more of a mini campaign that holds your hand. And I think that even if you've played Total War Warhammer 1 and Total War Warhammer 2, those names are so ridiculously long, I still <laughs> think you're going to get a lot out of this because I think it's a really interesting introduction to the main sandbox campaign, which is all about finding this giant bear god. And each faction has a completely different purpose for finding this bear god. Some want to save it, some want to kill it, some want to straight up eat it, which is so funny to me that that's, <laughs> that's one of the goals of the factions. I think it's that's the my ogres. That's brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> what amazing. How many games have you played where one of your overarching goals is to eat a god? <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's like you said, like with the prologue, like, because it lays out each mechanic kind of step by step for you to slowly kind of start adding layers onto the game yeah but i didn't think anything could prepare me for a full campaign like go into it i was like i didn't know how they could even do that right because i know like yeah. campaigns are just these sprawling kind of webs of you know massive maps and loads of factions scattered around and massive battles happening i didn't know how i could kind of prepare for that and i thought going to the prologue like we just said it's a fairly linear experience through mechanics if that makes sense right like yes it's just guiding you through like you say like a storm you have a battle you're learning how to move around a map but it's all kind of like linear corridor style kind of funnel to take yeah. you into the next mechanic and i i didn't think that could prepare me for a campaign but it did it, it, it did it perfectly because i got into a campaign and i don't know if you've like fully gone into that stuff yet but it gives you like a small section of the map and everything else is like fog of war and you get this small section and in that i was almost treating it like the prologue where i was like right here like the, the factions that i know if i take that path you know what i mean like i was kind of yeah. mapping it out almost like those kind of funnel corridors mapping out like my routes between each faction and like objectives and what i needed to do and even though it's like the missions pile on quick but it always felt easy enough to navigate because of that prologue just kind of layering the mechanics on one by one by the time you go into a campaign you aren't hit with that rush of oh my goodness what is all of this like so many things like it all just feels quite natural i didn't expect to feel that familiar that fast that is an absolute incredible achievement on behalf of creative assembly to have done that because you're right it basically trains you into understanding the mechanics of the larger game, even though really the prologue can never properly prepare you for just how much stuff is in this yeah, game. Yeah, the scale of a campaign is... And the fact that it's only a third of this grander vision that we won't see come to pass until later this year or whenever they eventually release it is absolutely wild, and I, I can't wait to... Mm -hmm to dig into this once it's this huge enormous fantasy grimdark <laughs> you know strategy mammoth with every faction from across like warhammer one and two as well that's going to be really really huge <laughs> yeah and whatever additional factions they add in dlc as well yeah exactly yeah but like for, for the warhammer pros i think it's fair to they probably know what to expect coming into it's like obviously yeah. some of the quality of life updates like idle units and like flying units can land now and there's like quite big siege battle reworks and stuff that they've, they've all laid that out really well before launch. But outside of that stuff, like this is going to be the game that they're already familiar with. So for them, it's just this big content pack of like a load of new factions. You know what I mean? This epic yeah. new campaign with a really interesting narrative to, you know, eventually merge with all the other content and, and kind of finish this grand vision. <laughs> I, I thought it'd be really hard to get into, but I can't fault how perfect it is to just onboard new players. Agreed. Before it came out, I was hoping, like, one of my friends is a huge fan of the series and I wanted to get into it, but I had no idea how. And even asking them, I just didn't see a way for me to get in. And yeah. I feel like Warhammer 3, right now, anyway, before the Mortal Empire stuff happens, it is a really nice intro to the series, considering it's, you know, like, like I say, the culmination of, of, of a lot of work. I don't think there was a more perfect time for that, right? Like, I don't think they were going to have that chance to get new players in. Uh, they've done it really well. Thank you very much for watching. Remember, if you want more alternative PC reviews, you can find them right here at Rock Paper Shotgun. I'll see you next time.